Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Ilkian Wiersma, also known as EJ. Uh, so yes, this is going to be the last video of uh, 2023 for me. So uh, it's going to be a blooming update for uh, the month of December. And uh, But before we start this video, I just wanted to take uh, this opportunity to thank you all for the support that I did uh, receive this year. Uh, I think I can say that it was a great year for my channel. For me as well, of course, but also for my channel. We hit that uh, 1k uh, subscribers a number this year. So uh, yeah, that also meant a lot for me. Thank you so much for that. And currently we are on uh, 1540 something uh, subscribers. And uh, I hope uh, next year uh, maybe we're going to hit the 2k. Who knows? It's not a uh, mean goal because I just uh, really enjoy making these videos, sharing my, my experience with, uh, with the Arcades and with this hobby. But of course, meanwhile, it would be nice uh, if this channel uh, would keep on growing. So uh, if you're watching this for the first time and you didn't have, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. But thank you so much. Uh, and also next year I have some, uh, some um, projects in mind that we're going to uh, do and obviously uh, during the growing season we'll, ma we'll make uh, quite some videos again like I said because I just uh, enjoy making them a lot and um, also I think one of the first videos next uh, year in January will be about my fails my fail wall because uh, yeah I did it last year I think it was in November or December uh, where I did an update on the spikes we were uh, we went spike hunting and uh, I'm planning on doing that again and that will be in January so that would be a nice uh, fresh start of the year plus I have some new orchids that didn't, didn't show you yet so that will be a video as well and the rest uh, we shall see what comes because uh, sometimes I do get some requests or good questions that inspire me to make a video so we uh, we shall see but uh, like I said I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you all and I really hope you had some wonderful Christmas days uh, I'm going to grab the camera now and we're going to start this uh, beautiful update I have some newcomers and uh, the first time bloomers and some that we didn't see for quite a while so I think it's going to be a good one uh, like I said, I'm going to grab the camera and let's start uh, doing this blooming update. So yeah, I thought, why not? We are already starting uh, this video in this corner. Let's start with the uh, Leodoro. It's beautiful. I love these blooms. And the big plus is, of course, the fragrance. They have such a beautiful smell to them. But yeah, this one is uh, blooming currently, as you can see, with three blooms. And in the back, we have still this. Uh, Sogo Relax, I think it's called. Very nice, deep burgundy red color on that fell. Let's go over here because I have here my Tolumnia in bloom. And if my viewers are correct and me, <laughs> this is the Tequila Sunrise. Absolutely beautiful. It has two spikes. This spike is just opening up its first bloom. So yeah, I think it looks beautiful. I really love the colors on this one. Then let's go up here. I have this Lycaste blooming. Beautiful red one. And I think I did found a name for it. Let's uh, grab it. I think it's the Lycaste about sunset. I did some research on these guys and this one, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one. You never can be 100% sure, but it really does look like this one. And this is the second bloom over there. Yeah, this one is just not there yet. <laughs> so that will be in January, but over here, look at this. It's quite a nice plant and it's starting to yellow up now. That's, that's what they do, of course, for the rest. But look at this, it's a fairly heavy spike. Sadly, one, uh, one bot didn't make it over here, but this is it. And if I don't forget, I will put a name in the screen because the, I cannot reach the tag from here. <laughs> it's way up there in the back. But yeah, it's beautiful. It has a quite, quite, a, uh, quite a large spike. So yeah, that's uh, nice. This is something to look forward to. Let's uh, go over here. And this is my yellow Venda. This one is the one that I used in my uh, last video on the trips. No, uh, the one before. I make I did make a video on the 
product that I use for tips. That is this one, it's still blooming. And that spike was already there as well. It's still progress progressing. So uh, we did uh, manage to uh, kill the thrips. But yeah, it's this time of year, the Vanna blooms do not get that big in my case, because I, uh, it's a very dull uh, days we have. It's very gray, even though I have a light about them, it's just not enough to really get those blooms a bit bigger, a bit stronger. But nonetheless, they, uh, they spike, as you can see, this one is making two spikes, so. Yeah, but in summer and in spring, they bloom a little, just a little bit better. And then over here, this is a beauty. This is the Chin Chia Lin New City. Catlea Chia Lin New City. And fairly big blooms if you compare it to my hand. Just uh, opening up for, uh, yeah, I think this, this is the first day it's completely open. So it may get even a little bit bigger. Very nice fresh bloom. And I really, really love it. This one, if you have it or you're thinking about buying it, this one needs a heck of a lot of light. I never could get it to bloom until I started to give it a, a yeah, like I said, a head of a lot of light. So uh, then you may have the blooms. And yeah, this one is sadly going over. That's four, yeah, four beautiful blooms. The uh, happy holiday. And this is my Santa Barbara. <laughs> it's not in bloom yet, but I wanted to go film up here anyway so we, we could nicely follow the spike over here because I wanted to film this one look at this one absolutely beautiful and I'm trying to grab the tag here it is cat green well there's not much green <laughs> on these blooms this time I did this is the third time I have it in bloom the other two times it was fairly yellow greenish so I completely did get a name but this time as you can see it's fairly orange probably because the lack of light maybe something like that and there in the back you can see we have more spikes but those are facing the wrong way sadly <laughs> it's from the same plant but yeah absolutely stunning quick look around no we don't have any more blooms here yes we have sorry Wilbur Chang of course is still blooming look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah still some blooms on there and we have another one over there it's a very long spike this is not making new butt and I think that this is the first one to uh, go over this this looks like it's dead now but are starting to so that is that and then of course over here <laughs> isn't that beautiful a splash of yellow a bit of red some orange in there some blooms are sadly going over already <laughs> but this is my cymbidium sadly has no name so I cannot give it to you but nonetheless it's beautiful five spikes this year so doing fairly well and then over here is a mini cymbidium so yeah so you guys I had to redo this part because my battery died but <laughs> we were at this this uh, miniature cymbidium and then we have a few fells blooming starting with new flowers but like I said we will have an update on them but just a few of course and it's not that I don't want to film them, <laughs> obviously, because I love them, but there are so many. So that's why I like to make a video separately for the fails, just to uh, not lose too much interest of you guys. <laughs> Let's get over here. Oh yeah, oh, no, it's not blooming yet, I'm sorry. I thought, but there's another Cymbidium coming with some flowers. Look at this one, beautiful. Here we go, I will turn off the fan in a second a purple one beautiful one so yeah let's uh, get over here I quickly will turn the fan off so there we go Peter Kump it still has some blooms left but you can see that the color is starting to fade and this one is already gone but nonetheless I think it's still beautiful 
So it had a, a very good year, this, this Peter Kamp. Lit bloom with several spikes, I think six, something like that. So that's quite nice. And then over here we have this big beauty that I did put back on the shelf because of <laughs> I needed the space. But look at this, still some beautiful blooms on this, some spikes over here, look at that. Even in the back we have more. Yes, and it has a name, here we go. There is the name for those who are interested in the name. <laughs> And yes, down here, let's start over here. This one is just opening up. It's such a beautiful color combination, that white and it's orange. I hope you can see it. But like I said, it's just opening up. This is my uh, Shalajini in the Buckley. It had more spikes. I don't think this one will develop. I'm sorry of the, I'm not completely sure. I did move it, because it kept it a little too dark, I believe. But anyhow, we have some blooms. And then this beautiful Miltonia, also still blooming. Beautiful purple color. On that one, then my brushy orange delight. Look at that. Shape of these blooms. And from the brush types, I think this is my favorite. I really love it. I li really like my yellow and orange colors. Let's get over here. So we have some blooms left on this white. Then fell. But as you can see, they are going over. That will happen, obviously. <laughs> but look at this beautiful orange one. Beautiful spike. I do have a name for this one. Let me give it to you. Here we go. Sorry for the glare. So that's the name of this orange one. And then in the back, it's just opening up. It's my green parrot. So I will do an update on that next time. Uh, this was the Verona. Yeah, Verona making a new spike it's uh, almost done blooming with these guys um, then over here we have this then fell beautiful color I need to move around this one <laughs> for, to give a better view of the blooms but here we are and meanwhile I try to <laughs> to uh, watch the tag. I believe I have this a name for it. Uh, no, I cannot find it. It will not uh, come out. If I have it, I will put it in the screen. I know. Yeah, in the back, you guys, yellow ones. Let me see if I can turn one around. Oh, there is one. <laughs> and I will show you in a minute why I cannot turn them around. But look at this. Isn't it beautiful? One of my favorites from the main fails. And this is why it makes another spike over here. So if I turn it around, that spike will uh, be against the wall like this one, but this one is already in bloom. So yeah, soon I can turn it around, but not yet. Then we have the Nora Takanada over here. Let me quickly see if I can bring it better yeah there it is look at that beautiful I really love them but look how many spikes we have we have one here there there's another one coming we have one here and this one is from the Roy Takanada next to it but not in bloom yet we have a Nora behind this one and another one here so yeah it will be a, a nice season for this and this is the Roy like I said makes another spike over here and another one here so it's something to look forward to uh, but here we have my purple happiness then Drobium Valiopsis purple happiness that is this one still in bloom some blooms are going over as you can see but we have still some blooms over there uh, let's go with uh, this one this one is also going over not complete yet, look at this. 
Anyway, guys, I did find a name for this one, believe it or not. Commercial name like all the others. Dendrobium Family Ops, but look. This is the Dendrobium Family Ops Candy. After years, I did find a name, but this one is called Candy. So that's nice. Uh, let's put it there, otherwise it will take too long. But it has quite some blooms over here. I hope you can see them. There are a few in here and in the back there. There. <laughs> but behind this one over here is my... Uh, oh, it will come in a minute. Snow Jade, there it is. Dendrobium Phenops Snow Jade. It has a few blooms left, as we can see. Then, over here, believe it or not, this is a fairly big one. This is the coconut. Oh, Insta helped me with the name. Coconut Dream, there it is. That is most probably this one. And this one has quite fairly big blooms for a Denfell in comparison to the others. But it looks beautiful, all those blooms, doesn't it? And then this one next to it is my Thailand's Black, also still in bloom. They do bloom very long this year. Look at this. Maybe you remember them from previous updates. So yes, some are going, but still quite some blooms here. This does make quite a show here. If you ask me, I really, really enjoy it. And then this one was in my nose and that's not a problem <laughs> because it's a sherry baby. So I had some, uh, for me it's more chocolate with a hint of vanilla. But it's lovely. As goes this one. This is also a sherry baby variety. This is Red Ruby Doll, I'm sorry. I always try to say Red Doll. <laughs> Ruby Doll. Beautiful color. Yeah, sim a very similar fragrance to this more regular Sherry Baby. Almost identical Frag fragrance wise. Yeah, we have some then fell blooms over here. As you can see, these get those spots as well. So they are going over, but that one has in the back more flowers and this is also we did find a name for this one let me quickly show you again that is this one and this one has a very nice name let me zoom in so you can see it but this is the confetti surprise dendrobium fenlabs confetti surprise there we go and next to it oh i shouldn't zoom out that much let's zoom in again look at that Beautiful. <laughs> Here we are. On that fell. Oh, and dendrobium. Uh, come on. That's such a common one. Maybe you guessed it, but it did try to remember the name. And it just. It doesn't. Yeah, Barry Oda, of course. How can I forget? <laughs> that purple one. This one is the Barry Oda. Dendrobium berry odor. Oops, try not to break any spikes while I try to reach the tag. Let's go down here because this area I just forget the last time. And we have some blooms on this hibiki over here. Look at that. And some in there. <laughs> but also this white one. This is just a little bouquet of flowers currently. Look at that. Isn't that fun? And this is this is the ambience, the Drobium ambience. Let's put it back because I start shaking them. And I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. Very tiny blooms, as you can see. A few are going over, and a few fresh blooms. Look at this. That's a nice close-up. I'm sorry for the shaking, but I'm really zoomed in. So let's zoom out. And here are my noblies. And while we edit, I don't have blooms yet, but I do have nubbins. Uh, where are you here, for example? I'm sorry. I hope you can see it. There you are. And we have more here in the back. So yeah, blooms are on the way for the um, 
normally types. Quickly check, I don't think I did forget anyone over here, so that means that we can now go into the arcade room. <laughs> that is over here. So, and there's something nice going on as well. Well, multiple things, but look at this. <laughs> it just opened up. Oh, it's still actually opening. As you can see, there's one bot to open up, but look at this. Miltoniopsis. My favorites, as you probably know by now. <laughs> but this one, oh, the colors are so beautiful. Fairly big blooms. This one is doing well. And this is called something Stephanie. Where's the tag? Um, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this is it. Not compl completely sure, but I think that is this one. And next to it is this one. This is a fairly new one from Equigenera. And this is called Miltoniopsis Gudio's Dream. If you have something like this, are you watching uh, the plants on their website? You will see a picture and I was, uh, when I saw this opening up, I was like, well, this is not tagged right. It has a wrong name. So I did email them, but they say that this is a guide, guide's dream, but they vary a lot, the seedlings. So yeah, I suppose that then this is the right tag, but it looks so much different than the blooms they show on their website. But anyhow, it can happen when you have different seedlings, they can uh, look uh, fairly different. But I had it never happened yet before. Nonetheless, beautiful. And you know what, guys? So we still have this, uh, these spikes. I think next year, or uh, last year, I should say, in April or something, the first, I had the first bloom. So I tried to have them in bloom for a year round. A different uh, Miltoniopsis, of course. I never had it happen, but we are almost there. So if I still have in April uh, new blooms and they will follow up, so I don't have a gap without any spikes or, or any blooms, I should say, I, I will have a year round blooms on Miltoniopsis. So that's something. If you know uh, how they grow and they can be quite difficult to grow and to bloom. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. Anyhow, let's uh, get over here. This is uh, Zygonisha is starting to bloom. I hope it's, yeah, it's sometimes a bit difficult because of the lights, the back lights. Maybe this helps. And this is the, let me quickly grab the tag. Impasto blue, probably Impasto blue. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty close. I'm pretty sure it is. And my Lewisendorf is still here. It's starting to go over. I don't know if it's just show up, but I can see it on the tip of this uh, sepal here. But nonetheless, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And there's no ID. There's quite some blooms, those spikes. This is the most fresh one. Down here, we have, this doesn't happen that often, so I don't, will try not to forget them, but I have this Mars de Valley in bloom, as you can see, two blooms. But yeah, they are not long lived, so it's going over already a bit, but nonetheless beautiful. And let's go with this, oops, I'm sorry, my biggest Mars de Valley is also in bloom, but I have to turn it around. So we can have a nice uh, view on the bloom. <laughs> Here it is. And this is Mas de Velia Black, something black. Something black. Here we are. Black Velvet, yes. That's the name for this one. Very nice, deep, dark red, burgundy color. Very nice. So let's, whoops, <laughs> let's have a quick look. Yeah, I still have a few blooms. Well, 
are going over now. So do I on them. But still some there. Let's get over to this side. Yeah, first we have this one. I still don't have a name for this one, but it is nonetheless very beautiful. Look at that. Very strong, bright colors. Deep red and deep yellow together. And they barely do fade. So they start, they keep their color very bright. Maybe on the ends, but some, some plants do uh, fade their colors quite quickly after a few days when they're opening up, but this one doesn't. And then we have this, it's also a no ID. Still in bloom, it was uh, in bloom the last time as well. In my update. And as you can see the Ruslias, Xantinas, Notoniopsis, those are done blooming now. They did bloom for quite a while, so I'm happy with that. But then over here, you guys, <laughs> it's that time of year again. Even though I know my twinkles do not look very well, I have some rotting going on on some older bulbs, but also some leaves. I will uh, try to uh, discuss this in another video, see if we can uh, deal with this problem. But now we're going to focus on those beautiful, tiny little blooms. Let me try to zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Isn't this beautiful? I try to. Uh, Keep my hand as still as possible. I love them so much. They are so nice. And this is a uh, twinkle and let me quickly check the name tag. Brown red, or what is it? Yeah, brown red. Oh, you guys, <laughs> why is this so difficult? Twinkle brown, it's just called twinkle brown. Sorry for the shaking, but I know some people like the names and I do get why, so that's why I'm trying to show them. And this one is just starting to open up. It's a beautiful red one. I think this is the red fantasy. Not completely sure, but very, very nice. So yeah, we obviously, uh, as you can see, we have quite some spikes. This is the yellow one. We have quite, uh, this one has one, four, eight i think eight spikes and quite some left here but the first are opened up so we have a first update on the twinkles and some spikes here but this is the old oh, wildcat bobcat wildcat absolutely beautiful i really like the red color on this one the hint of yellow i have a feeling that i say this looks beautiful or something similar with every bloom, but yeah, <laughs> that's how it goes because they are beautiful. But I think I keep repeating myself. I'm sorry for that, you guys. But yeah, they are so beautiful. <laughs> so let's get over here. I still have blooms on, new blooms actually, on my uh, Peggy Root Carpenter. Some in the back, some here. So this has been in uh, bloom for quite a while. And uh, with new spikes, nonetheless, but here are some. So yeah, this should have more blooms per spike. So I think I, I need to give it a little bit more light, I think. I'm not completely sure, but I will see if I can uh, try that uh, next year. And uh, Katharina Zuck, Ancidium Katharina Zuck is still blooming. Then we have this beauty over here. And I did get some help from a few viewer for this one, for the name for this one. Did I change the tag already? Oh, no, not yet, I'm sorry. Oh, I should uh, put a name in the screen. I hope I don't forget. <laughs> but I did, uh, did get a name and I'm pretty sure that, that is this one, but I did forget to make the tag yet. So, nonetheless, beautiful. And then over here, you guys, look at this first one, it's hard to, uh, Put it all in in frame at once but it has a spike over there one here and one there so it never uh, did bloom so well as it does currently but look at that and this is a piece of art if you ask me look at those blooms isn't it stunning the detail the colors absolutely perfect 
And then we have another one here. Let me see if I can. This one is just starting to open up. There, look at that. Yeah, this, this is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I really enjoy the shape as well. And then over here we have another spike. There you go, you see the back. And you also see the first blooms on my jewel orchids. Uh, this is the Alba version. The blooms are not spectacular, but the leaves are quite beautiful. But nonetheless, it's in bloom. And it's looking better. Maybe remember the repotting we did on this one. It looked, those jewel orchids did look awful, but look at now the foliage. It's really starting to grow again. Absolutely beautiful. And the rest will, uh, the dark one is spiking and I think this one is also trying to spike. So that will be in, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I almost forget, I forget you. But those will be in the next uh, update. Look at this. And on Cydium types, some type, it has no name. Well, I don't know the name, I should say. But it's from Landsberg, from one of the visage over there. Yeah, I think this is beautiful. Kind of does remind me of the Twinkles, Sotwanum type. But who knows? Maybe it's not even real related. <laughs> and then we have this one, still in bloom. Yeah, it looks like this bloom is missing something, but it's they are bent backwards fairly strongly. <laughs> Those are the sepals. This is the name for this one Violetta van Holm look at that I'm sorry you guys the, the, the lights is really making the colors not as bright as they are but I hope you have a nice idea now with my hand behind it <laughs> now this one is going over here I still have a bloom on the blackjack and it did have a uh, care guide, an update on the slip arcus just recently uploaded. So uh, I will link it in this video. If you want to know more about them, how I grow them, they do very well for me. I really enjoy the setup. And this one has two blooms over here, still in bloom, as you can see. And it also started opening up uh, this one. Not fully open yet, but you see a little bit more yellow in there. Has a beautiful foliage, very nice strong plants, but it will end up looking more more wider like this one. And this is White Lady, or at least one of the parents is wa White White Lady. I'm sorry. Then I know for sure, I'm, but I'm not completely sure if this is a White Lady or it has one of the parents. It does look very similar, but anyhow, that is. Uh, what this one is and my Pinocchio is almost there I hope you can see it there trying to uh, bloom but not yet so I'm going to turn around don't want to try to make you dizzy <laughs> oh, look at this guy this, this is a, a habit of this one I'm sorry yeah there we are you see this is the spike and this is such a long spike beautiful absolutely beautiful but that's for uh, for another update and meanwhile, I was checking, did I forget something? I think I didn't, but I think that all the time, <laughs> every time, but yeah, we are pretty, uh, pretty close. Yeah, I did film all of this. So I think you guys, we are here. This is uh, the end of my last video of 2023, a blooming update. I always enjoy making them and I always like to watch them on other channels as well. So I hope you do as well. Thank you so much. If you did, please give it a, a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, suggestions for next year, please leave them in the comment section. And I wish you all the best for uh, this year and for next year, the start of next year. And obviously I hope you have a wonderful year ahead of you guys, uh, all of you. And, and I really hope to see you on my channel again with a, another next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>